for four rounds, and Ed Darian with the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for four rounds, and it's in the featherweight division. The referee is Earl Morton. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing the red, white, and blue trim trunks, he weighed in at 126 and one half pounds. He has one win and no losses. From Wilmington, Delaware, ladies and gentlemen, here is Richard Dynamite De Jesus. De Jesus. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. He weighed in at 126 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in two pro bouts with two straight knockouts. From Jersey City, New Jersey, ladies and gentlemen, here is Arturo Thunder Getty. Getty. One half for the Gotti brothers. This is Arturo. And we'll see Joe in our feature event up against a pretty tough youngster in Richard De Jesus, who was born in Puerto Rico, lives now in Wilmington, Delaware. His opening fight was down in Washington, D.C., and uh, a lot of people thought he was being tossed into the pile against a very promising youngster, and he wound up beating him. I think Gotti's people took a risk taking this De Jesus. From what I get on him in the scouting report, he fought Cecil Thompson, a very promising amateur star from Washington, D.C. in his first April. And he beat him. But Gaddy can punch. He, oh, oh gaddy has got him in trouble early. Oh, is he firing away? Came right out. He didn't give him a chance. He nailed him and hurt him. He and got him. He's down. This could be it. He just beat a guy who was a guy who counted as a pretty good fighter. He can punch. A juggernaut indeed. It certainly did not take Arturo Gotti. Arturo Gotti go to work right here. But the Jesus wanted to punch with him. He made a mistake. He nailed the Jesus coming in with a right hand. And then he nailed him again. One thing Gotti does is when he hits you, he keeps punching. He doesn't give you a chance to recover, and that's exactly what happened here. He just kept raining punches. Big left right there, and that was really it. The fight was over at that point. He acted like a finisher. When he had him a little hurt, he never gave him a chance to recover. He's missing a lot of punches, but he's still firing. Another guy might get discouraged and go defensive. He keeps firing, knowing that he's got the guy in a position where he can't really fire back so much, so he just keeps throwing Ooh. until he finally nails him. That's the uppercut we talked about, and the hook with it. Followed it up with that left hook, and that was it. And he did what you're supposed to do when you lift the guy up. And gentlemen, the time of this bout, 32 seconds of the first round, and the winner by a knockout, and still on the finish, Arturo Thunder.